Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we are actually going to discuss about EDA with the help of library, which is called as Detail. And again, this is an amazing library. If you are very, very good at exploratory data analysis to make your work faster, you can definitely use this particular library. And guys, till now, whatever library I have seen with respect to exploratory data analysis, like SuiteWiz, like Pandas visual analysis, I think Detail is the best. Okay. And this was actually uh, told by one of my subscribers. So I started exploring it from yesterday night. And again, I, I got to know a whole lot of things. So if you go and search for Krish Naik EDA in YouTube, you know, I have uploaded this video tutorial 11th and this all videos are actually present in the complete machine learning playlist. So you have tutorial 11 exploratory data analysis of Titanic data set. So make sure that you go through this. If you are a fresher, if you're starting with EDA, because here I've showed step by step by writing every code. But once you're good at it, once you understand various terminologies with respect to exploratory data analysis, like histograms, like CDF, PDF, uh, like a scatter plot, different kind of uh, bar charts and all, at that time you can definitely use this particular library to make it easier. Again, I'm telling you, this is not suitable for freshers because the fresher will not be able to understand everything. If you are actually starting with exploratory data analysis, don't go with detail, okay? If you are good at it, to make your work faster, you should go, go at it. And apart from that, you, you have also seen that I've made videos with respect to SuiteWiz library. I've made videos with respect to Pandas profiling. I've also made videos, recently I've made a video yesterday uh, with the help of Pandas usual analysis. So one thing that you need to take care is that when I'm actually explaining you, this you should only use when you're good at exploratory data analysis, okay? Again, I'm telling you. So let's go ahead how to work with this. Again, it is an amazing library. I, I, I found out this as the best library from my side. So first of all, what we do is that we go to Anaconda prompt and then we write pip, pip install detail, okay? So once I install this, this library will get installed. So here you can see requirement already satisfied, okay? So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to import Seaborn because inside Seaborn, there are a lot of library, uh, there are a lot of data sets. So we have data sets like anagrams, Anscombe, attention, brain networks, cra crashes, and many more. So I'm just going to execute this. From out of this, you know, you can use tips, Titanic, planets, any data set you want. So I'll, I'm picking planets over here. So I am, I've written sns.load underscore data set with planets. So I'm getting my DF. So DF and DF dot head. So this is basically my data set altogether. Very much simple. It has around one, two, three, four, uh, four, five, six, six features. Now with respect to this particular features, I am going to perform an EDA with the help of detail library. I think if it is pretty much simple till here, these are all my category features. These are all my integer values, right? And this is basically an year. Now for using detail, you have to first of all import detail. And then inside that you have some function which is called as show. So inside this show, you have to give your data set. That is your data frame. And again, guys, here I'm not doing any train test split. This is specifically done for doing some exploratory data analysis. So I've written DF over here. So once I execute these two lines of code, so here you'll be able to see that uh, if you still want to load, please ignore duplicates. Okay. So I had executed it once again. So let me just restart the kernel so that, uh, you know, that whole thing will get deleted. And now I'll just execute it, everything. Okay, this is getting executed now it will successfully get executed because just a while back before making this video, I was trying out with this. And again, we can try out with any kind of data set. So this is here. And trust me, this is an amazing thing because let's see, let's see what all options you have. Suppose if I click on uh, columns, right? With respect to columns, I have a lot of options. I can rename it. I can replace it, right? I can do the type conversion. I can click on describe. If I click on describe here, you will be able to see the values with respect to all the columns. Suppose if I write distance, I really want to select distance. Okay. So if I select distance, you can see describe will actually give you all the values, like how many rows, 25 percentile, 50 percentile, 75 percentile, cut, max this. See guys, whenever we want to use describe, what do you do? What we were actually trying to write? We used to write like this, right? DF dot describe, right? So with respect to this, we are getting these values, right? But now here we are selected distance and we can get these values. If you really want to see the histogram, the histogram is this way, right? It is there. You can see the unique values. You can also see the outliers, right? You can also apply outlier filter. You can also remove the outlier filter. And suppose if you really want the code for it, 
just click on this code export and here is the whole code you can basically write this whole code and actually get all these particular diagrams right that is what we do in the exploratory data analysis right in exploratory data analysis suppose if i really want to create the histogram with the help of the column as distance i will basically be writing this particular code it can be this code or it can be this code i'll just click on copy i can keep that code ready so let me just keep the code ready over here uh, what i'm going to do is that i'll just going to paste it over here right so i put this 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 let's see whether it gets executed or not if it does not get executed probably there is some uh, problem so if i go and see my stats here is my value right pretty much simple see the same thing <laughs> i've just taken out the code so why i'm saying it amazing because uh, suppose if i take my example i can do exploratory data analysis i can understand the various terms now this library will definitely help me to do it right i just have to drag and drop select all the things and get my code and try to execute it but for a fresher if he does not understand this graph then how will he able to do all those things so yes to quicken your process you can use this but please make sure that you know exploratory data analysis properly now with respect to this also suppose i want to remove apply the outlier with distance greater than 39.74 i'll just see the code so this is basically my code and uh, let me just copy the code over here let me just copy the code right and let me just execute it simple now i have executed it if i go and see my stats this is my okay i did not <laughs> oh sorry it did not it did not get copied okay so i ha have to copy it again let me just copy it again let me remove this uh, view code copy i think it should get copied now yes now if i go and execute and if i go and see my outliers you'll be able to see the value simple these are my outliers now with respect to this outliers you can create any kind of graph now not only that guys now you see pretty amazing things let me just close this let me see the categories categories is not there please select a category it says uh, let me see number okay if i really want to create this kind of graph just go and see the code right and you'll be able to do the group by right and remember i think this all things have been created with the help of plotly now let me close this and let me just see some more things okay now this was with respect to the method if i click and again i'm i'm doing the left click okay not the right click okay I, you have to do the left click here you'll be getting all the things okay let me go to this center one now inside the center one there are more things there are more things you can build the column you can do correlation you can create chart let me go with correlation now here you can see the correlation of everything see to find out the correlation what you used to do i can write i can basically write df dot core right so this is basically my correlation the same value is actually getting displayed over here with the correlation and here is your graphs here is your graphs right and if you really want the code for this you can just click on code you can copy this and this is basically a correlation right it is that simple guys suppose if i really want to check the correlation between two features right you can see over here let me see with distance and orbital period this is the correlation it is pre very near to zero now suppose if some of the features are highly correlated you can easily check it from here and this actually supports for huge data also guys i tried with huge data also okay so this was with respect to correlation now let's see some more examples so i'm going to go over here i'm going to click over here suppose i really want to go with charts let's see so here is my chart so i'll select x as number y anything you can select okay it is giving me error probably because of something or it does not allow that or what let's see so here suppose with number and orbital period if i see that some kind of graphs is getting created okay if you really want to export that chart let me just select some other things because this this is not good right distance and year again this graph is also not good uh year and orbital okay this type of features are coming suppose if i write method so this is basically the method uh, with respect to different type of <laughs> grouping and if you really want to check the bar chart this is my bar chart this is my scatter plot right this is my pie chart i've zoomed in guys so here you can see pie chart amazing pie chart all this information again just explore this what this basically pie chart says but this is with respect to the data if you really want to use word cloud so word cloud is also here let me just zoom in a little bit more okay right then you have heat map in the heat map suppose i select year with 
the orbital period and this number this is basically my heat map right not only this suppose i animate okay animate option is giving us some error again there are some errors that are coming what about uh, 3d scatter plot here you can see some 3d scatter plot here you can rotate it okay and this is all because of plotly libraries guys okay suppose i really want to check with uh, three things let me see remember uh, removing number or mass every time i'm selecting mass it is giving us some error so here is my another thing with distance right this is a 3d plot so here you can see this this is a 3d plot right and your surface you have maps maps okay orbital period i think this map is basically with respect to this all type scatter geo i think this will work well with the countries you know where we have countries like longitude and latitude this will work well okay suppose if i select usa states i think in in this i think our data set is not there so we'll probably not be able to see so candlestick at all okay let me do one thing let me just uh, come up with something else then better one right so highlight outliers if i click on this so this is basically my outliers in the data set again guys everything is there you just have to try it out you have to see different different things and there are so many things which i actually liked about this right you have reload option you have uh, code export okay code export is also there uh, open in new tab is also there if i open in new tab it will open like this and then i can select like this summarize data okay you here you can do group by tra private tra 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 transpose and definitely guys if you are starting probably these all th words will look very very new but definitely you are able to find so many things over here right so let me click on method c column analysis so this is basically my column analysis uh mass mean right all this code export i'll be able to get the code itself right isn't it amazing because you are getting each and everything in front of you you don't have to go anywhere it's all that if you know all the concepts if you know about histogram see all this terminology is which i have already explained in my right i've told you how to draw a heat map with the help of normal python code how to highlight outliers low variance flags right instances heat map charts correlation everything has been explained you just have to know how to do it because i have also shown you how to convert into x ray so i hope you like this particular video please do try out detail and yes if you are a fresher don't directly jump into this i know this looks much more easier to do but understand it's all about understanding the data by seeing this i will be able to understand the data because i've done a lot of exploratory data analysis so you also try to do it right so yes uh, this was all about this particular video i hope you like it uh, i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all bye bye